Hello my friends, welcome to Bracking News Coronation Street, today, I talk about Boss Lane McLeod reveals, large plans and storylines for 60th anniversary, Coronation Street. It's a new year for Coronation Street and a bit of a milestone one, by December, the iconic British institution will be a mammoth 60 years of age so we decided to get the gossip from the man who will be pulling the strings of the next 12 months which will be pivotal for the show and its fans. Lane McLeod, formerly Emmerdale's boss, has previously worked on Corey and it's a show very dear to him speaking to Metro. There's not a lot at this point because of reasons of secrecy so forgive me for being cryptic. It's an astonishing landmark, not only that but at the start of the year we have our 10,000th episode that we are intending to mark with something that is Corey to the core, I think is fair to say. So, we're thinking the 10,000th might be classic Cory, which is laconic, comedic and character-driven vibe. And the 60th is likely to be something much more explosive. We've thought long and hard about what we want from the 60th, and actually the expectation from the audience now is that it is something, not necessarily death and destruction, but there is a spectacle attached to it. There's a risk in going spectacular and some people wishing you'd done something a bit more Sheila Delaney, but I think that risk is lower than going full out Shelia Delaney than disappointing all the people who wanted something spectacular. I don't think the two things are mutually exclusive by the way so the idea would be that we have the spectacle and the character driven stuff within that spectacle as we did in the 50th I guess. The former Emmerdale chief has form for doing more experimental episodes such as Ashley's dementia journey through a day and Carla's mental breakdown, and he added that there will be an element of trying something new for the 60th. He mused, part of what we might be doing for the 60th will have elements of that. I tend to feel that you have to be a bit more cautious on Corey than you do on Emmerdale, which has historically gone a bit more out there and left field than Corey has. Nothing specific and it has to be story driven, I guess. If I sat down and I said I really want to do an episode where it is entirely told from the point of view of somebody with profound vision impairment, how do we get there? It would feel a bit shoehorned. Whereas if the story suggested that, you tend to get a feeling for it early in the evolution of a story you think there is an opportunity here to do something really insightful is great, but to sit here and try and force that, I think the audience will see it for what it is. There's an element of something a little bit genre bending for the 60th in terms of what we are planning but nothing else at this point that is stylized like the Carla episode, it's certainly a lot of pressure to be tasked with a moment of event TV like the 60th anniversary of a British institution. And, while Ian admits to having his nerves around it, he added that those are all self-created. Well, we think not actually. We have some fairly novel, fairly left field ideas that we are exploring at the moment so it should be exciting, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye my friends. Subscribe to me for the most interesting updates.